Once in a while, there are certain sports that clash and cause rivalries. First, it was influencer boxing and MMA, then boxing and influencers. But Jake Paul's a bigger man and can hit No, he, no, he doesn't. What yes, do you mean, Jake Paul? He's all over me. Who have you knocked out? Are you Who have you knocked out? Who have you nicked out? And now, it seems like the next great divide, bodybuilders and martial arts. Throughout 2023, many bodybuilders have fancied themselves in the fighting world. What? Oh. Many have tried, many have failed. And it seems like the mixed martial art world has taken bodybuilders' confidence in their fighting skills as an insult to their craft and to the dedication of fighters. Bodybuilding is a beauty pageant where dudes try their best to put on muscle so other dudes can say, you're the best looking dude. Bodybuilders are all pussies. They haven't got the balls to be a fighter. So instead they think, well, I want to look as mean as possible. And he will also never return to a second fighting lesson, ever. Can you beat me in a street fight? Huh? You think you beat me in a street fight? You in a street fight? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So the real question is, so who wins a street fight, me or you? With all the controversy and outlandish comments, no one's really seemed to test whether bodybuilders can actually fight or not. Over the next three weeks, I'm traveling all the way to Bali one of the most popular destinations for mixed martial arts. Amongst the beautiful sights, I'll be testing if bodybuilders can actually fight, and I'll be learning the brutal sport of Muay Thai, as well as testing myself in the cage for the very first time. So, let's get into it. Yes, people, so we're finally here. We're at Bali MMA, which is like a super famous gym. Even UFC champions like Aljamain Sterling have trained here. So if there's a place to learn Muay Thai, it's definitely got to be here. And yeah, I'm super excited. We can sort of learn the basics and teach you everything. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So boys, the gym was obviously super packed, super busy, as you could tell. And I'll just explain what Mark, the coach, was actually teaching me here. I probably just butchered his name. But yeah, here we're just learning the very basics. So maintaining a stable position and moving forward with our feet as we jab. And then just returning our hands back to cover up. And yeah, it's just very, very simple to start off with, which is sort of what you need. So it's really good to learn the basics. And I wasn't going at a crazy, crazy pace because I just wanted to like truly understand the movements and the timings and everything else first. So yeah, I think that's really essential. And now we got into the fun stuff. So going for the combinations and here I get to understand a bit more about the flow of like the Muay Thai and, you know, incorporating the punches and the kicks and just understanding the flow a little bit better. And with Muay Thai, they focus a lot more on moving forward with combos after throwing a punch. So we just got used to that. And it's a lot of just staying light on the feet, bouncing up and down and keeping active. With Muay Thai, pretty much everything is involved. So you've got like the knees, the kicks, elbows, punches, and we went through it all. So it's very action focused, which is sick.
so we literally just finished the first episode or the first training session. Yeah, I thought it was sick. Like, he's actually teaching me a lot. He's teaching me, like, the boxing, the kicking. Um, yeah, hella intense. Hella intense. I'm so glad there wasn't just, like, a warm-up and cardio. We're actually learning a lot. Um, so, yeah, now we're going to crack on with the rest of the day. And, yeah, I'll catch you then. Bop, bop, bop. Yes, people, so that was the first session done, the first like Muay Thai session done. And yeah, I thought it was sick, like we actually learned a lot. I thought it was just gonna be like the stretching and the more like boring stuff, but he was putting me through my paces. He was like doing, obviously like hitting the pads and like, yeah, some crazy intense stuff as you could probably see. Um, so yeah, that was sick. Bali MMA class as well, like 10 pound for an hour private session, which is really good. So now we're gonna get some recovery, hit the pool and yeah, let's go. Yes, people, so that brings us to the end of the episode. And yeah, the next one, I'm gonna be showing you why I actually eat as a guy learning to do the Muay Thai. And yeah, we're gonna be training early as well next time. So you're actually gonna be able to hear sort of what the coach is saying to me and you can like learn with me as well, which will be sick. So yeah, a bit more of a like day in the life type of video next time. And yeah, without further ado, I'll catch you then. Oh.